Hi guys and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. So today guys we're back on the sofa. Um, I hope you've been enjoying all the uh, outdoor videos I've been doing. I did a bunch didn't I? And I've, um, they're all on the uh, on there now on the channel. Um, so go back and watch the last last week or so videos and uh, have a look. Um, if you haven't checked them out or ha and didn't uh, catch them all. Um, lots of the outdoor testing and loads of different stuff I did in the woods um, film for you guys. I'll go, be going back out there guys, don't worry. Um, just want to let you know what's going on and I've got, um, as you saw by the description of the video, I got some mail, really exciting mail. I'll tell you the story before I tell you what happened. Actually, make more sense if I show you. So, what I've got here is some PVC pipe. Uh, I'll bring it shot. PVC pipe. Um, schedule 40 PVC pipe of which I'm going to use to make my PVC uh, bell which I've told you, uh, some of you guys about and uh, some of you guys are quite excited to see it and a story that goes with this so whilst um, I've seen lots of people's videos on the internet uh, on their PVC bows 99.9% .9 of them are American or Australian and you guys uh, find it uh, use this uh, schedule 40 pvc pipe now in england uh, it is not graded on schedule i guess, guess you want to say that schedule so whatever schedule is that, that that's not our grading over here that's not how we do it um it can go in classes uh depending on whether we're going metric or you know like olden days or whatever go back two inches Met uh it is either graded in class or in something else, I can't remember what it's called now, it's got, it'll have a special number if, if it's not in class, like E19 or whatever, but that's how it's graded anyway over here, and for some reason, I could not find or quite understand what the equivalent was of the Schedule 40 um, over here, so, you know, I couldn't find England's equivalent of the Schedule 40, I saw lots of forums and stuff and looked online, I couldn't find nothing, so I thought, um, I'll actually look for a Schedule 40 in the UK, so... Did that at the same time is looking for the equivalent and I couldn't find Schedule 40 in the UK anywhere. Uh, and then I watched a video on a guy who was talking about this. Um, no, sorry, no, not watched the video first. I then thought, I, you know, I'm quite a, I've made a lot of things, you know, done a lot of mods and done a lot of like hands-on work. So I, I, would be, I thought I'd be okay. So I thought I went out to um, a PVC pipe, uh, a PVC uh, dealer that deals with like guttering and lots of PVC uh, PVC products and uh, picks out PVC PVC now what I used uh, first time round because I did not film it for the uh, reason of which uh, how it ended up is um, yeah I bought this it's called barrier pipe and it comes in extremely long lengths I think it was like six meter lengths so when I bought it I obviously had to cut it down to fit it into my car um, I have a long car anyway and I, I drove an estate but still six meters is a long length so anyway but one long length for this cut it in half uh cut it into pieces and then to use for a bow now barrier pipe is a lot different from schedule 40. so in england you have standard pvc pipe of which you use for waste um drainage you know that sort of shit like that's used for everything lots of different things it's all kind of the same thickness um and all kind of the same bar rating. There is lots of different bar ratings, but the general usage one is. Do you know what I mean? There's one that's like a general usage, um, and that one is a hell. Oh, I can't really show. You, hell of a lot thinner than Schedule 40. Schedule 40, 40 is a lot thicker. This is an eighth of an inch thick. The wall is an eighth of the eighth of an inch thick, and that's what makes it uh, so good. At, uh, uh, being a bow you know because it's thick wall it can take take the flex and because it's so thick it will bounce back to shape or to where you put it because it's so thick and so strong you know it's not like thin and placid and it won't just uh wobble everywhere anyway so i bought what's called barrier pipe it was just over an eighth of an inch thick the wall was but barrier pipe has a really high bar rating and bar is how they measure pressure and that's what these pipes are used for you know like having liquid in them water or whatever so they need to be, lots of them have different pressure ratings. And pressure ratings are measured by bar. Um, so bar, um, yeah, it had he, even higher uh, bar rating than Schedule 40. So I thought, it's got to be the right stuff. You know, it's got to work. It might even work better. So I bought one inch uh, barrier pipe. 
Uh, took it home and how barrier pipe works, it will have a thin piece of PVC around the outside. So if I show you on here, oh, for a reference. So um, imagine this PVC pipe was a lot thinner. It would have PVC pipe uh, and then it would have a thin piece of it was blue, like another blue uh, tube on the inside, like another blue liner. And then it had more PVC. Um, yeah. So it made it up to be an inch thick. The wall was uh, an eighth of an inch thick, sorry. Uh, so it was the right thickness, but because of these, what's called the, the barrier on it, it was it wasn't one whole piece. You know, it's several pieces pushed together or molded together or whatever. So it, it wasn't. It just it, it just was wasn't schedule forty, you know. But I thought it worked anyway. I molded it to shape and got it to the shape I wanted it. Strung it up and then it flopped you know it just stuck in that shape it didn't it didn't flex back to the shape i wanted it um cutting it was a bit of a nightmare because of that barrier has got in there oh it was an absolute nightmare it was just a pain in the ass I and mean, it took me a while to told me the first time i was ever making one so i was taking my time on it you know so i wanted to do it first time behind camera so then when i film me making it i can I've got more experience, you know, I know what I'm doing, I don't have to be guessing things, I've done it before, so I know what to do, you know, so yeah, and it just, I sh as soon as I finished the bow and strung it up, it went like, it wouldn't, it's, I, I think the heat in, the temper, the heating it up, messed with it, because when it was not heated up, I didn't heat it or touch it or bend it or anything like that, it was really looked good, it was flexible, and it would pop back into shape, but as soon as he heated it up, it would like after it would set like it become cold it would like i'd bend it and it would just stay bent it wouldn't flex back to shape it would just get bent and once i strung it up it would stay bent i'd unstring it and it'd be like that it was awful absolute nightmare i was really up, like upset and a bit like pissed off because i thought it took me so long anyway i was going to give up and i just thought i'm not going to do it now i can't do it I, it's undoable you know can't do it in england thanks dog thanks for that idiot just a bone, you know, just slams his bone on the ground. What an idiot. Anyway, yeah, so I was going to give up because I thought, I can't do it in England. This is undoable. So then, I then watched a video on YouTube by pure circumstance and just accident. I fell upon this video of a gentleman in England who was saying about PVC pipe. Um, and saying about what I'm pretty much saying in this, this video, he, ha he did the same thing. Same thing. Uh, made PVC bows that have similar PVC on the best PVC you can get in England from his regular store. Nothing worked. Um, and then he found a place called Cole, uh, Cole Palmer. C-O-L-E and then Palmer. Which is a company in England. Uh, but they're in England and they're in America. You know, I don't know whether they were based in America and then come over here or the other way around. But anyway, they have stores in England and in America. They sell lots of different piping and drainage works and stuff like that. But anyway, he made this video about Cole Palmer and he said they sell it. So then I then went onto the website because Cole Palmer never came up when I typed in Schedule 40 PVC onto you onto Google. It never came up. So this is why I could never find it. Um, but I went on their website and true enough, they had it. So then I gave them a call. And I explained, uh, I said to them I, I was after that Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Um, at five foot lengths, uh, if possible, uh, and then, then they hit me with the big shell shell that uh, they only have it in an eighth of an inch uh, thick, like the actual a whole pipe is only an eighth of an inch thick, uh, wide sorry width. The, the width of the entire pipe was only a uh, quarter of an inch wide. Sorry guys, mine's gone. Uh, yeah, quarter of an inch wide, or then. Um, one and a half inch wide so i was like whoa you know that's that, that's a big difference and that's not the size i need when you make pvc pipe bows you're meant to make it out of three quarters of, um three quarters of an inch pipe or one inch you know and how it's measured is not measured the way you'd think it's not measured by the uh total circumference it's measured by the internal diameter so what it measures on the internal edge to edge that is what the pipe that's how it's called you know so if, if if it's three quarters of an inch, it would be three quarters of an inch from the inside to that other inside. It wouldn't be from the top edge to the bottom edge. I don't know why, that's just, it's weird, but that's how they do it. Um, yeah, so I was like, this is a bummer. 
Um, then I did some more research. Um, after speaking to those guys, uh, I was like, all right, I'll think about it. So I did some more research. And I then found that nobody's, I couldn't find anybody, anybody at all, that had made a PVC pipe bell out of one and a half inch pipe. Because I knew I couldn't do it out of the quarter of an inch because it's not even funny. Do you know what I mean? That's just tiny. You can't make a bell out of that. So then I was thinking about it. I didn't know whether to do it or not because it was it seemed too big or I didn't really know. Um, so I measured a couple of things in the house that are one inch uh, width to hold it, you know, to get the feel of it, see if it was too big for my hands. It wasn't too big, but still, I couldn't find nothing on the internet that said about anybody making them, you know, out of one and a half inch. So I just thought, this is where we are now, guys, you know. I ordered it two days ago. They come extremely quick. They are amazing. Um, delivery is quite expensive, but you, you kind of expect that, you know. Parcels nearly six foot long, you know, so... This is one and a half inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe. Comes from North America. I will show you if you guys can see, but it says Schedule 40 uh, North America PVC pipe. It also says the, the year, uh, the date on it, what it's made. Um, preferably, you want it as new as you can get it because the, the older it is, the more risk of it being left outside, outside the sun and when it's getting older it's just all sorts of problems it, it can develop and the reasons why it would not make a good bow but this is relatively new so we're all we're all gravy you know it's all good so that's my story anyway about the PVC pipe so I bought two lengths of it um, it's not too thick I have massive hands so it's good for me but anybody with small hands like my missus I let, I let Mrs. Bristol Prepper have a go and have a feel of it and she couldn't get her hands on it uh, just because one and a half inch is quite big, you know, to get your whole hand round. But me, I can do it with ease. Um, feels quite comfortable, uh, especially after I mold it as well to my hand. It will be fine. Uh, but, but like I said, I got really big hands. But I'm wondering what, the, what, how it affects the the draw weight, you know, because one and a half inch is quite a diameter. So I think the one inch pipes are pulling round about forty five to sixty pounds. I've seen on the on YouTube. Of people pulling bows from one inch pipe that are pulling from 45 pounds to 60 pound draw weight. So that's quite a hefty draw weight. So then a one and a half inch pipe, because of that extra diameter, the extra girth, the extra weight behind it, uh, that this could be a heavy bow, you know? Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll see how we get on. Uh, I'm planning on doing it very soon, making it very soon, but as soon as I've made it, guys, don't worry, I'll edit it real quick and bang on the internet and show you guys straight away. So I know some of you guys are itching to see it. Anyway guys, I've rambled on quite a lot on this video, I didn't want to make it that lot, this long, but I had to tell you my story anyway, I thought it was quite a story worth telling, a nightmare to find. Anyway guys, hopefully you've um, enjoyed this video, um, and please guys, leave all your comments down beneath and tell me if you've got any experiences with PVC in the UK, or you find Schedule 40 in the UK somewhere better or cheaper, please tell me about it. Also guys, please go and check out Cole Palmer on their website if you're looking for um, the Schedule 40 PVC because they do do a lot of stuff on there. Yeah guys, so if anybody wants any of my t-shirts or any of my jumpers, just give me a shout and I will happily help you out guys. Um, if anybody uh, would be so kind to go onto Facebook, go down in the description, click on the link, that will take you to Bristol Prepper Facebook page and that is where it's happening guys. That is where the magic happens. That is the best place to be and to be in the know. Otherwise guys, as always, stay prepared and I'll catch you guys another day, another way.